Last but not least, we have something called the proximity keys. Um, now the proximity keys, oh, let me flip that out. That was actually a key combo, but these are proximity keys and proximity keys um, are said the newest technology that uh, cars are using nowadays. And the reason why they're called proximity keys or smart keys is because you actually don't need to insert a key and turn it in, in the ignition to start a vehicle. Um, many of these keys actually uh, allow you to just stand next to your car. So what, if you're in the proximity of your car and knows that you're the owner of the vehicle because you have the key in your pocket, it will automatically unlock the vehicle and you can get inside. It also allows you to be able to lock and unlock uh, manually as well. Um, now the thing about these is, uh, when you get inside, it's usually like a push start. So they can also be considered push start keys. So there's a bunch of different names for it. Prox, proximity, smart key, uh, smart button keys. Um, so you just have to uh, keep in mind, um, most likely if a customer is talking about, oh yeah, I don't need to put a, a key inside to start it. They're probably talking about a proximity key. Um, so these, um, have like a transponder, but these are long range in a sense transponders where the signal is actually shot over a longer distance. Whereas a transponder, it has to be within a very, very short range, uh, you know, of like millimeters of the key ignition to be able to start and to recognize the code. Uh, these have its own battery and it allows it to be able to shoot off the signal further to reach the vehicle. So once you get inside your vehicle, you can keep this in your pocket or you can keep it in your purse and you just push the button to start and it turns on your vehicle. Um, so, you know, this is now a combination of all the technology uh, sort of coming together. These keys also have an emergency key. This one is a, a laser cut emergency key. You know, you don't need this, but if you, you know, ever have your battery remote die on you and you need to get inside your car, you're able to uh, put this inside and still get inside your, your vehicle. Um, you know, same thing with this one as well. You will see right there, this is a laser cut key. It's an emergency key. You don't really use them, but it's always there if you, if you do. Um, same thing as this one as well. Um, there you go. You got a laser cut key. Um, so this is like a, a Toyota Prius. This one's like a, a, a Honda of some sort. And this one's like a, a Lexus. Um, so yeah, that is a proximity or a smart key. And that brings us to the end of the different types of keys. So just to recap, you know, you have the uh, simple edge cut or laser cut keys with no chip, chip inside of them. Um, it's just the metal that uh, blade that goes inside. Um, edge cut, laser cut key, single sided edge cut key. Uh, then you have the transponder, the ones with the chip in it, edge cut, laser cut with the chip inside of it or a transponder. Um, and then you have the VAT keys. The VAT keys right here have that. Um, and you know, you'll see how to use those. Um, so, that's that, and then we talked about the remotes. Uh, this is the, the remote keyless entry uh, to be able to get into your vehicle. And then you have the key combos right here. Um, it's just a combination of the remote um, laser cut and the chip in it. And then we have the flip keys, flip keys that we talked about, just the flip laser cut uh, remote with the transponder inside of it. Um, and then we have our FOBA keys, uh, no blade, just a thing that you insert to turn on remote with uh, an emergency key inside. And of course our smart or prox keys. That's it, that's the different types of keys and uh, we will go more in depth into how to determine what kind of key you need for the vehicle, um, how to discover what type of key a customer has and which one you need to get. Uh, and then we'll talk about uh, how to program the uh, transponders, um, figure out how to select the right VAT key, and then how to program remotes and um, the proxy keys and all of the above. All right, that's it.